or LCLI, installation and overview. In this lecture, we will learn what Corel command line interface is and how to install it in your computer. Nowadays, almost all modern JavaScript frameworks and tools have a command line interface or CLI. These CLIs are used to install, upgrade, create, and do other operations much faster and easier compared to using a graphical user interface or a GUI. Some developers, especially the younger ones, might see this as an old way of doing things, but there are certain logical reasons why having a CLI is more preferable rather than a GUI. We basically have two reasons for this. The first one is that it uses the power of Node.js and Node Package Manager. Most of these CLIs are written in Node.js, and thus it can leverage on the power of the Node Package Manager to easily fetch, manage, and deploy the native dependencies and packages for your operations. And as mentioned in our previous section, the Node Package Manager registry is the largest code registry in the world and has over a quarter million packages of reusable code that you can use in your project. The second reason is that a CLI is much faster to use than a GUI. You can just type a few commands in your terminal or in command prompt and you can get and generate the files you wanted in a matter of seconds. This process can be further improved by using a customized alias which you can set as a single word or even just a single letter so that you don't need to write the entire CLI command on your console. Plus, a command line interface consumes much lower computer resources compared to a GUI client. That's why it's fast. And for these reasons, many JavaScript frameworks and tools have their own CLI tool, which is the same case for Aurelia. All right, now that we discuss about the overview of Aurel CLI, let's learn how to install and use it to help us build our Aurelia application. First, let's open up a terminal and then type npm install aurelia-cli then add the dash g flag and hit enter. Wait for it to install and it's done. Let's do a quick check for Aurelia CLI. So here, just type AU, or Aurelia for short. You can now see the rail banner. This means that our CLI is now working fine. So here, let's clear this up, and let's create our new Aurelia project. To do this, just type AU, and then new, and press enter. Or alternatively, you can also add AU, new, and then the name of your project. So let's say Aurelia start or any name you want. Okay, now let's go to our Aurel folder that we created earlier. And as you can see here, we have our Aurel start project from our previous lecture. So we'll just create a new project here. So just type AU, new, and enter. And in here, let's create our first project. So you can just type the name for project, let's say Aurelia start with CLI. Or alternatively, you could just hit enter and it will be Aurelia-app. So let's try this. Okay, just press enter. And then in this options, you can choose the ECMAScript next, or TypeScript, or a custom setup. For now, let's select option two, default TypeScript. In here, you're gonna see the project configuration of your RL project. You can see here the name, the platform, the transpiler, markup processor, CSS browser, unit test runner, and your default editor. In this, you can just select yes, or alternatively, you can restart the wizard, or abort. Just select yes. In here, select yes to install the project dependencies, which is handled by our node package manager. Just press enter. And wait for the installation. And it's done. Let's just clear our console. And then view the files. You can now see here that our Aurelia app has been properly generated. Let's go to that folder. 
and then here are the files generated and let's do it in our finder type open dot and there you go we have here the configuration files for typescript for tslint for typings and of course our source files let's now open this project in our visual studio code so here just type code you can click this link open folder or alternatively you can just select file and open and then navigate to the rel project which is this one really app and then hit open all right and maximize this to run this project simply open your terminal and then type au run enter our Aurel CLI tool is now within our project and it's also sparring up a new localhost HTTP server. Now, our application is available at HTTP localhost port 9000. So here, just type Chrome, and then let's go to localhost 9000. And success! We had successfully created an Aurel project using our Aurel CLI. For your next steps, we can just create our source files over here in the source folder, and we can also create our test cases, which we will do in our succeeding lectures. If you want to learn more, you can just go to github.com slash Aurelia slash CLI to view its latest updates from GitHub. You can also read the full documentation when you click this link. This contains the how-to to create your Aurelia project, how to run it, how to build it, how to do unit testing, and so much more.